In today's Leeds news, international call-ups, Betis and Leeds have double deal in place, ticket information from Middlesbrough and Rodon on Farkett professionalism. Morning folks, Jay here at The View on the 9th of November with your Leeds United news. Not massive stuff going around as the usual. It's becoming the norm, isn't it? Uh, we're not going to cover the press conference today. That will be covered tomorrow in the match preview for the Plymouth game. We'll also cover the key call-outs from the Plymouth press conference as well. Andrew Dalton will be joining me from LUFC Stats in our shortened version of a match day preview that you can get all the information Stats and information that you want coming into that game. So that'll be tomorrow. Uh, we'll crack on. We'll start off with this. And we'll, we'll start off with the international call ups. And Glenn Kamara has been called up by Finland to their 24 man squad for their games against Northern Ireland and San Marino. Joe Rodon, Ethan Ampadu, and Dan James are in Wales squad for their games against Armenia and Turkey. And Charlie Crew has been called up by Wales under 21 squad for their Euro 21 qualifiers against Iceland and Denmark. Best luck to everybody in that. I'm sure there'll be a couple more call ups before the end of the week as well. And moving on to the first main story of the day, and this is around Mark Rocket Leeds and Real Betis and the situation that is there. According to Estadio Deportivo, they are claiming that Leeds United and Real Betis have shaken hands on a double deal around the player with contingencies in place depending on how Leeds United seasons end. They claim that Leeds United and Betis have agreed a £10.5 million fee for the player should Leeds get promoted at the end of this season. Remember, if Leeds don't get promoted this year, all the loan clauses that have been in place last summer will all be in place again next summer. With that in mind, <clears throat> it has been said by Deportivo that they claim that Leeds and Betis have shaken hands on another loan deal for Rocket in place for next season should Leeds not get promoted. That's the biggest caveat. If they do go up, it'll be a sale. If they don't go up, it'll be a loan. They claim that all three parties are very happy with the decision. Uh, Rocket has been in excellent form this season for Real Betis, one of the few loan players that's actually having a good time. And it's pretty clear that Spanish football suits his style of football. He has been rewarded by this by being recalled to the Spanish national side after a very lengthy spell out of that squad as well. Uh, and Rocket has spoken about his happiness since returning to Spain as well. So... Um, one that will, will, will develop as the season goes on and we'll see where it is. There is some rumour also popping around that Betis might even look to get this deal done as a permanent move in January, possibly to try and stave off any kind of interest from other um, other parties. But if there is a, a gentleman's agreement in place as such, then there's a possibility that we'll rumble on next season. Anyway, uh, let's get into ticket information for the Middlesbrough game. Leeds have released the information and how you can get your tickets for the Middlesbrough game. Leeds United's game against uh, Middlesbrough on December 2nd is a Category A fixture, and this is how the brackets break down. Uh, phase 1 is for priority members, 1pm on the 13th of November. They will go on sale. Phase 2 is for all my Leeds members. That's 1pm on the 14th of November, a day later. Phase 3, same day, but later time, 5pm, that's for the ticket exchange. And Phase 4 is for the online ballot, 9pm, a day later on the 15th. There are also some ticket exchange swaps and other pieces that are there in Phase 5 and Phase 6. Well, you can go check them out on Leeds' website if you want to do that. But that's a game that I'm going to try and get to, if I can, if I can get tickets. Fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers, fingers crossed. I'm trying to bring my partner with me as well, so that's going to be her first game. It'll be interesting to see if we can get tickets for it, but we'll... Uh, We'll try. Uh, and we'll move on then and we'll move on to the final story today. And this is around Joe Road on talking to the official Legion Night podcast about Daniel Farka. And it's great to lift the veil of what goes on behind the scenes and conversations that are happening in the dressing room. They love to hear that kind of stuff. And uh, speaking to the Legion Night podcast, Joe Rodon has lifted the lid on Daniel Farka's approach to the dressing room following the defeat to Stoke City and the reaction thereafter. Rodon said that Farka's um wanted a reaction from the players as well as wanting to see more professionalism for them. Uh, Ronan said that they were um, pretty annoyed at how they lost that game. He said, um, we all hate losing. Daniel hates losing, but we all hate losing as well. Everyone in the squad hates it. And he said, especially how they lost that game by conceding a goal to a set piece and missing the penalty. He said, everybody was hurting after that game. He also went on to say that Farka wanted a reaction from the squad going into the following games, and he definitely got that from the first half performance against Huddersfield and Leeds win against Leicester City. It's great to see them getting that reaction. They need to maintain that now and make sure there's no more slip-ups against lesser sides in the league, Plymouth being a prime example this weekend. Um, he also said in this as well that um, they take every game as it comes in their stride and they're not looking too far ahead. We've heard Daniel Farka talk an awful lot about not looking at 
a league table. It's not important right now. It's important at the end of the season. Uh, and Joe Rowland has kind of doubled down on that as well, saying that I take it every game by as it comes. And it's a very long season and there's plenty of points. Left. I think there's over 90 points left still to play for. So huge amount of points to play for in that. And that's going to be for me today folks I will be back tomorrow with the match preview there might be a match uh, a news video in the morning depending on what's floating around but if there's not I will put out the match preview video instead and the podcast will be recorded tonight and that will be available for our members tonight and everybody else tomorrow morning as well so plenty of content coming into the weekend's game against Plymouth and I will see you tomorrow morning for that and have a great day enjoy yourselves and I'll talk to you soon